YouTube. I hope you can see me good. If not, I apologize. I'm recording from my phone like usual. And if you see me drinking something, I'm drinking Big Red. But um, what I'm doing today is I'm doing a mini book haul because I went to this um, bargain place called Bargain Box here. And I went a little crazy because I'm addicted to books. I should probably enter book rehab. Let me start my book rehab introduction. Hi, I'm Kayla and I'm addicted to books. I started this addiction when I was around six or seven years old. Ever since then, my addiction has spiraled out of control. Anyways, um, so I went a little bit crazy and I told myself I wasn't going to buy any more books because they really needed to stop. I you know, restrict myself, put myself on a little book buying ban and uh, that's not going well because I bought a book on Amazon which should be coming in the mail any day now and I recently bought a book from Walmart which was my most expensive book buy so far. And at this bargain place, I bought a good deal of books, and my total only came out to four sixty. Plus, I bought two VHSs, which I will also show in this haul. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Ugh. I was gonna lift up the bag and show you, but the bag almost ripped. Um, I bought a lot of James Patterson in this haul, so. Mind you, there's going to be a lot of James Patterson. And if you hear my TV, it's because I'm switching between The Walking Dead and, um, what's it called? And, uh, Ghost Adventures. I really can't decide what to watch. I'm not caught up on The Walking Dead, and I'm rambling, so this will go in another video. But, um, anyways, the first book I got is Along Came a Spider by James Patterson. And I've been wanting to see, I mean, I've been wanting to read this. I actually haven't seen the movie, surprisingly, which um, is a surprise for me because um, my mom's seen it, and it's always on oxygen, but uh, I haven't seen it, and the movie Alex Cross is coming out soon, so yeah. But um, this is what it looks like. I'm sorry if my camera's not zooming or I look orange or whatever. I haven't fixed the lighting. Let me go ahead and make sure this is recording. No, I shouldn't make sure it's recording. But um, anyways, I'm not going to read the back or anything. The reason why I'm not going to read the back is because in the future I'll probably be doing a book review on it. So I'm just not going to read the back for the sake of this video. Or, yeah, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to read any of the summaries of the book. I'm just going to show it to you. But, uh, I haven't seen the movie. Um, I've heard about the movie. It looks good, so. And then, the next one I got is First to Die. And I think I have the second book in this series. I'm not sure. I really hope I don't have this one already. And it's also by James Patterson. And these books are surprisingly in good condition. Which is really surprising. Because it's like a bargain place. And it's not what I usually expect. But um, the next James Patterson book I got is Pop Goes the Weasel. I've never heard about this one. Never. It looks interesting, though. I mean, there's not really much you can tell by the cover, but his books are known to be pretty interesting. So, it's another James Patterson book, by the way. And the good thing that I liked about this bargain place was the books were either a dollar or 25 cents. And let's see, did I get any more James Patterson? No, that was the end of my James Patterson. Uh, now, the next two books are um, based on movies. 
And I haven't read any of the books. I didn't even know there was a book series about it. So this came as a surprise. Maybe it will help me to understand the movie more. But um, I got The Born Identity by Robert Ludlum. Ludlum? Um, it's that movie with um, Matt Damon, I believe. And I didn't know this was a book series, so. And I did not understand the movie because it, it was kind of too long, so um, I'm going to try reading the book and then watching the movie. Maybe it'll help me understand a bit more. It looks good, though. And then the next one is The Born Supremacy. And I don't know what series these are in. I mean, series, what order the books are in, because I know there's The Born Identity, The Born Supremacy, then something else. I just can't remember for the life of me. But I got The Born Supremacy, also by Robert Ludlum. Ludlum. And it has Matt Damon on the cover. It says the movie version. And I, I've never seen these books at Walmart, so it's a surprise to, for me to find it. And then the next one I got is also a movie, and I've been really wanting to get my hands on this, but I could not find it at the library. Not at Walmart, and I didn't want to really look on eBay or Amazon. So, um, it's Julie and Julia by Julie Powell. And I saw the movie, I liked the movie, but I, I I, I don't know, I just couldn't really pay attention to the movie, so I'm going to read it, then watch the movie. And, I don't know, I, I like, really like this, this, um, I, I mean, I really like this book, I haven't even read it. Um, I really like, uh, what's her name? Meryl Streep. I think she's a great actress. <laughs> That's what I, I was trying to say, but it, my words weren't just coming to me, but, um, I'm excited to read this one. It also has the movie cover on it. And then the next one is um, one that I have on my to-read list on Goodreads. Um, it's by V.C. Andrews, and it's My Sweet Audrina. I actually had no idea what it was, what it was about, so I kind of looked some of the summary up on um, Wikipedia, and it said that most of his books deal with incest, which is really weird, but, uh, yeah. I like the cover on it. It's freaky. It's a freaky cover. Look at that. Look how freaky that is. That freaky child. And then, see how freaky that is? Uh, I think this is gonna be a good read. And then, I'm, I love Nora Roberts' books. And, as you know, um, Nora Roberts, she sometimes writes as J.D. Robb, and so I got one of Nora Roberts slash J.D. Robb books, and it's called Visions in Death, and I've never read her books written as J.D. Robb, so this is going to be new to me. I heard it's different than her usual, um, than her usual romance type stuff, you know? I hear it's more like thriller, which is kind of weird, but, um, it looks really good. I don't know what book this is in the series because I know the in-depth thing is, um, her series as J.D. Robb, so it should be interesting. And then the final book I got is Shopaholic Ties the Knot by Sophie Kin Kinsella. Kinsella. And I've actually read um, Shop Confessions of a Shopaholic, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, The Confessions of a Shopaholic. I love that book. I love the movie, though I didn't really get to see all of the movie. But um, I read it and... I really, really, really wanted to buy the first one, but they didn't have the first one there. But next time I'm going to go looking harder. But, um, so I got Shopaholic Ties the Knot. 
And I love this series. I don't know why. It's just so good and cute. And I really haven't read much of um, this one. I've only gotten a little bit far into um, the confessions of a shopaholic, but I never actually finished it. And now the two movies I got, I'm so excited. Um, I got The Crow, which has Brandon Lee. Um, as y'all know, he died while filming the movie. Uh, and I'm so excited I got this, even though it's on VHS, and I need to find a VHS player. But um, the reason why I said I'm excited I got it is because it's currently in the Walmart DVD bin, and it's for $5. And I got this for $0.50 cents or a dollar. I, I don't remember. But um, I love it. I love this movie. It's a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Then the next movie I got is another one of my favorites. And my friend, when she saw the cover, um, she calls it the belly button movie. <laughs> but um, it's American Beauty. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Oh, I love it. I was so excited to find it. And she calls it the belly button movie because of the cover. And she said that's all she knows about it is that belly button and I'm like I have to introduce you to it but I love this movie anyways that concludes my little book haul and I'm sure I'll be getting more books soon and yeah anyways thank you guys for watching bye